It, um, footy Classified learnt last night that St Kilda was going to be in conducting a review, not an yep. internal review, but in fact a review run by the chairman, Andrew Bassett. Um, Damien, we knew that it was also yeah. external. Well, we're Damien, going to say, we said this on, we broke this on National 9 News tonight. And Damien Barrett has now revealed that the external review yeah. person is going to be David Noble. Well, we, extraordinary. We had that one ready to go, but what under Damien, he jumped on and uh, put it out on Twitter. So that actually confirms from another source that what we're saying tonight. So... Forget about all the journalism, who did it first, all that sort of stuff. Damien Barrett's, I believe, 100% correct. That was my mail as well from yesterday. And, uh, as we said, Andrew Bassett, the president, I think, has had enough of getting advice from people and is saying, well, hang on, <laughs> I've been a success in everything I've done. Maybe it's time to actually start asking getting some real questions. So you're saying this is Andrew executive. Bassett? I Sorry, think it's... Andrew Bassett initiative. Yeah, I think it is. Right. Yeah. Are we surprised and... that David Noble is the person running it? I am surprised, and I think that it's going to be interesting for Simon Lethlean and for James Gallagher and for David Rath, um, his two football lieutenants at the moment. Um, I think there's been... There's, to put meat on the bones, I think this has been building for some time. Obviously, the underperformance in the second half of the season. Brett Ratton is completely safe. He's recontracted. But I think it came to a head probably, Ed, when... Um, and Jake Noel wrote about this, when... Simon Lethlean and his team presented to the board about having a crack at Jordan Degoe. Mm. Now, rather than ratify going for Jordan Degoe and making him an offer, I think the board sent um, Gallagher and Lethlean away to do a bit of homework. I don't think they were thrilled at being told to do that. And I think the board was sort of saying, well, look, hang on. We make decisions like this. This is a big decision. Mm. And you might be running footy, but these things... A player like Jordan Degoe has to be approved by the chairman. And I think that on Monday, Andrew Bassett stood up and announced to the group of coaches after their list management meeting that there would be a review. I'm not sure that... Um, I, I don't think Simon Lethlean would be unhappy about this, but I think there'd be a tad... A little bit of insecurity. I think, I think there's I've a few always... people, Caro Ranson Kilda, who might have said, OK, fair enough, we've gone with Brett Ratt and we've reappointed him. No worries about that. But did anyone speak to Clarkson when we were going into that process? And I think the structure of, and I've said this several times, nothing wrong with Rath and Gallagher, yeah. and I thought they'd be co-football lieutenants or maybe Gallagher doing the footy and then Rath can doing other, other parts... Sorry, Rath, Rath doing the footy and Gallagher doing the list management, but I'm not sure the board sold on that structure. And I don't, think, I don't think there was a, a whole lot of joy about uh, Brett coming out, Brett Ratton coming out and saying, no, we're not going to get Matthew Lord or anybody else in to help Max King, and then the next day coming out and saying, well, maybe we need to. I think they feel like they're a bit all over Brett the place Ratton at the was moment. told to correct that and David, by the club. Yeah. They don't seem clear to me in anything that they're doing. Yeah, and David Noble, mm. forget his coaching stint, but he's been a football administrator, has yeah. been his real strength, football operation, so he'll have a good lens to lay over what they're doing there.